What's up guys, it's Lizone here and we're playing Red Dead Redemption part of the Preparing for GTA 5 series so I'm going to be doing well basically I'm going to be playing a few Rockstar games and um, completing them hopefully before um, GTA 5 comes out so if you enjoy like Rockstar games I'll be attempting to do Red Dead Redemption, L.A. Noir, Max Payne and of course uh, GTA 4 as a playthrough so it's going to be a lot on my hands but I'm, I'm happy to do it and try and attempt it and if I don't, I don't. But I will try and get, do it all before um, before GTA 5 comes out. So here we go. We're starting off with Red Dead. I really love this game. Uh, probably my favourite game overall in general. That's my opinion. Just love the free roam element. My player is amazing. I just love it. I would happily give my never mind. Move out of my way. My god, I love this game. Do you expect me to go on this train? How dare you? Fred Bed Redemption. I love the way they do it like an like old western movie, that's just great. That's what I like about every um, Rockstar game so far, they've always had a certain authenticity about them. Like this one's like a western. I'm grateful Mrs. Bush that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land and I know he'll be looking down on... But hey, yeah, that's not important what they're saying. But anyway, um... As I was saying, like Elwin Noir was very authentic to like the 1940s era, the 1940s music, the way it was laid out, the presentation and everything. It's really good. But father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. No, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals. But they're happier now. John Martin pissed off. It's gonna kick off. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out of Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. Blah de blah 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 blah. But this state should not be ruled by such etc. 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 Nice head, bitch. Did you get that? Huh? Huh? Speak up, I can't hear you. 
Speak up. Mrs. Bush. God damn it. Isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be... Rage producer. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. <laughs> I produce my own rage, son. Indeed. Well, here we are. Well, here we are. Armadillo. Armadillo. Ain't that nice. My name is John Marston. Howdy. God damn. God damn it. Go to the outhouse and take a piss. That's our first objective. Hey. Oh God. No. No. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's my fault. What you looking at? Oh, ah. It's not very nice really, is it? Ah. Can't catch me now. I'm in a cutscene. Mr. Marston, look, I, I got a chick on me. Get her off. I can't get her off. She's stuck on me, man. Get her off me. Get off me. John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Chick. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends. So pleased to meet you, Jack. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Oh, I remember the introduction to this game was pretty tedious. I mean... Like, uh, I don't know why I'm even talking like that. Uh, I mean, it's quite a build up until you get, actually get into a bit of action. Who does this guy think he is, huh? Who do you think you are, huh? Why don't you just fall on the floor? There you go. I'm coming, I'm coming, don't worry. Alrighty, Keep Bob. your hair on. on. Hold A to match the speed, isn't it? No, no you can't do that yet. Nice place to park a train, you fucking idiot. Alright. Hurry up, please. Right. Thank you. They got the horses, I think they got them spot on, like the way they move and everything. Uh, I hope there's animals in GTA 5, I know there's dogs, but that was like a, there was sort of like a discussion that if it was in, it was only in the cutscene, or like they're only in certain places where you can't shoot them, which I frankly think is understandable, that's like, you know, current day and age, uh, where we're not allowed to shoot at all, like, her harm animals in general, and it's not a good thing to do. Uh, not people, people don't look upon that very nicely. So I see why they might not have killing animals in this game because it's set in the pro um, present day. So and this was set in well, the Western time, 1911. 
just just on the brink really, it wasn't really just near the end. Mind you, yeah. nine thirty is America. Oh, we learned that quite a lot in English. American dream. Mice of mice of men. Is it me or does everybody have to like learn that of mice of men? I know not a few people in our school didn't like learn of mice of men at the same time as we learned it, but they learned like what's it to kill a mockingbird? We didn't do that. Um, but like I I've heard like. I don't know. I'm just wondering if people like from. Ah, uh, never mind. I love the lighting effects in this game. It's really nice. Listen, Mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we park ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> I think that was on the trailer. I don't know. Like one of the trailers. Just the guy laughing. Oh, this is a good event, isn't it? Yeah, I remember what happened here. What the hell did my guy just do? Done like a weird dance. Bill Williamson! <laughs> look at him, look at his face. He's all calm and smirking because he thinks nobody's here. They've all moved to a different place. He can't hear you, he's listening to music. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. <laughs> idiot. Where's my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. oh. You are the oh. one I need saving. Typical Western. Bill, please. They want to kill us they all. pop out help you. for the ambush. You never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> A plore? You implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. Yep, John Marston no has some finesse finesse about him. And no more you. Implores. I I implores you <laughs> to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well, <laughs> that's going on the Fails compilation of <laughs> Fails compilation on YouTube 2012. Oh no, that would be 1911, wouldn't it? That one. <laughs> 